morning guys <clears throat> I look at my cousin Ellie she has been by me and my husband's side every step of the way and there's a lot going on anyway what I wanted to say is she sent me a, a TikTok reel or something of this beautiful older lady giving you three tips of how to um, make things to help your health naturally and one of them she made what was called immunity bombs and I'm adding myself cayenne pepper because I know that's healthy for the immune but she didn't say how many of what to do she didn't like say okay three lemons or blah 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 so I'm gonna try it with three lemons and she had like the whole lemon and not the peel though so I'm gonna try to see if I can like take off the skin of the lemon. Anyway, these, these immunity bombs, you put them in your ice cube tray and you put them in the freezer. She said it lasts for four months in the freezer. So they're like little cubes. But what you do is when you need a boost, if you're feeling under the weather, you, um, you boil your water and make a tea with it. These are your own natural, homemade, healthy, what she calls immunity bombs. So I'm just trying to get all the peel off is what I'm trying to do. Uh, and there's still going to be seeds, but I'll try to get those out too. There's like a lot of lemon juice coming. I don't want to waste any lemon juice. Okay, I hope that you guys can see. So this just gave my heart something to do this morning that's like positive and healthy and especially anybody who tries to do things as naturally as possible to help your body. This is a great, I don't think it's going to taste good, but it's going to be good. And I'm going to be blending it up. so. Even if there is seeds, you just won't drink it. Yeah. So I'm going to do these three lemons and then I'll be back to go ahead with more ingredients. But I really want to share this because when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, Ellie, thank you for sending this to me because that's such a just a good thing. And this is good for like your your liver, your organs, everything all these ingredients so all right it's hard to because it looks like she had the lemons just without the peel is what it looks like I don't want to waste any of the juice so what I'll do is I will I'll come back to the peel and squeeze any lemon that might be left on it <sighs> You just got to do what's in your power to do. And then the things that are out of your control, give it to God. And I've been asking God to teach me to help me do that because, well, anybody who's been through things in your life, you know, you understand. Uh, so this is just something good to have in the freezer. And I wanted to share because... I never heard of this before, never thought of it before, but the lady who shared it or who thought of it, maybe she heard it from somebody else, I don't know, but it's a blessing that she shared it. So I'm very thankful. Anyway, I'm going to try to squeeze out every piece of lemon juice that's possible to squeeze. And I got one more lemon and then I will be back. Okay. I'll be back. So that's three lemons. Oh, there's a little piece of skin there that I missed somehow. I just washed my hands too. Anyway, I didn't even bother to pull the seeds out from this one because when you put it in your cup with hot water, you're gonna see the, the seeds float around. So if there's any seeds left. Cuppy, what's going on here? Yeah. All right, I got my, I got a, 
I, I'm not a turmeric person at all. My cousin is. She doesn't mind turmeric in, in her things, but I do. I'm just going to... Okay, do I have one that's open? Ground ginger. Does it call? I thought it called for ginger. Hold on, guys. All right, guys. So I have made a mistake. It was lemon, turmeric, honey, and ginger. So I crossed off cayenne pepper. So... I got my ginger here, ground ginger, but I know at like Walmart and stuff, they sell the ginger in the tube. So if you had that or real raw ginger, maybe that would be even better. I don't know, but this is what I have. I know ginger is really good for you. So half a teaspoon is what I'm going to do. It still seems like a lot. Half a teaspoon of ginger. Puppy, what are you doing, sweetheart? What, baby? She ate her breakfast. She's just, I don't know what she's doing. Mm -hmm. right. I just want it. My ginger won't seal properly, so I'm just putting it in a baggie to help keep it good. So these are typical spices that I do not come and touch normally. Okay, what? Oh crap, I guess I had this bag of spices that these ones must be open. So I have ginger added. I need to find turmeric, which I believe there's turmeric in here. Oregano, chili. Yep, there was a ginger already open. Turmeric. There's a turmeric already open. So I'm going to do half a teaspoon. The lady gave the ingredients, but she didn't say how much, so. Pew, what a stink. Oof. Yeah, I gotta remember to go to use this bag first because this bag is the one with stuff open. And these are spices that I don't I don't come to use them very often at all, so. But I'm thankful that I have them. Is this gonna fit? Is this gonna close? I don't know. Okay, now I need honey. Uh, do I have any more honey? Is this it? Wow. Oh no, there's a new one here. Okay, so this is just, I think she wanted you to use the raw honey, the real raw honey, but I'm using what I have. This is hardened. Ugh. After a while, your honey goes hard, right? So anyway, be able to freeze this. So this is the honey that I have. I'm going to put, I don't know, is a tablespoon enough or do I do two tablespoons? I know, but I have no idea because she didn't put the measurements. So I'm going to do two tablespoons is what I'm going to do. And put my honey back. Oops. I'm making a mess of honey outside of the container. I'm trying to get the honey out of there. All right, now I'm going to blend that, but I need to take this, the dirty spoon off of here right now. Ah! Dropping honey everywhere. <sighs> so these are just to keep in your freezer to help when you need an immunity balm. Like, is this gonna be enough liquid? I I don't know. Oh yeah. 
Look at that gross but healthy so i'm gonna pour it into my ice cube tray and i'll do that with you guys i'll be right back okay guys so i got it blended it blended actually really decent this is my ice cube tray with the lid cover so it's gonna make round ice cubes and i just hope it all goes well maybe i should stir it I don't think it's meant to taste good. It's meant for helping. Ew. All right, so this mixture made, I don't know, did I put too much in? Three lemons made this many. And I'm sure the taste is not going to be the best, but now if I push this down, am I going to have a mess? Am I going to be okay? One side's down, the side's not down. I'm scared. I think there's a seed in the way. Is there a seed somewhere here in the way? Yeah, okay, we're good. I like the fact that it has a lid, so it's going to make the round circles to make your tea. But I'm also going to put this in a Ziploc bag, too, and put it in the freezer. So that made 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 14? It's good for four months in the freezer. Ew, it stinks. I just smelled it. You can really smell that turmeric and ginger. They're two spices that I do not love at all. But when you need it, you'll drink it. You'll do what you got to do. I'm going to label my bag. <laughs> I got a Ziploc bag, and I'm going to label it right now. Immunity. And I'll put the date. So, I am um, you. Immunity Bombs. February 19th, 2024. There. See, I dated it. It's in the freezer. But you guys see, and that's 100% natural, natural ingredients. So, like I can tell, it's not going to taste good. But what I would probably have to do in order to even get this down is like fill my cup with a fresh lemon, like slices and then put this in it and try to drink it as fast as possible. So once it's steeped, anyway, I hope that helps somebody.